So we're going to do another ranking acidity problem. And in this one, we have different factors to consider other than resonance. So before we start, let's put a list of things that we want to check for. So some of the things we want to check for is, are there resonance? So I'll put that for R. And we also want to check if there's an inductive effect. And then so there, those are just two checklist things that we're going to do. And then after that, we're just going to go off of periodic trends and other things as well. So if we were to look at this carboxyl group with two fluorides next to it, we have another carboxyl group, nothing next to it. We have a sulfur with a hydrogen, a hydroxyl group, and then we have an NH2 and amine. So do we have resonance in a carboxyl group? If we were to draw this out, we do have resonance as we can have this pi bond move back and forth if this hydrogen is expelled. So we do have resonance in this one, we have it on this one. Now with just a sulfur attached to a hydrogen, if it's expelled, we're simply going to get a negative charge. So nothing, same thing with the hydrogen, uh, the hydroxyl, and same thing with the amine, there's no resonance there. Now inductive effect, there is right here because of the fluoride, the halogen, but there's nothing for the rest of these. So to make our life easy, we're just going to rank this first molecule as the most acidic. Now, and we're going to make this our second most acidic because of the resonance. Now we're just based off of these three groups that are left. Now, how are we going to determine that? Well, we have, we have to check, we have to check our periodic trends. So if we were to expel the hydrogen, we have here a sulfur with a negative charge, an oxygen with a negative charge, and an NH with a negative charge. Now, which of these is the most stable? Well, let's compare oxygen with, let's compare oxygen with the nitrogen. Now, is oxygen more electronegative than nitrogen? Yes, so it can handle a negative charge better than nitrogen can. So this is definitely more acidic than that one. This is more stable, so therefore more acidic. Now, is sulfur more, now sulfur is within the same essentially group as oxygen. Is sulfur more electronegative than oxygen? Not quite. However, there is one factor that on, in sulfur that makes it special. Sulfur is a bigger atom than oxygen. Because sulfur is a bigger atom, the, ne the negative charge is actually spread out more evenly within the molecule than with oxygen. And because of that, that actually makes it more acidic than oxygen. And therefore, we have our rankings now. So we have, this is number three, because it's polarizable is what they call it, when it's larger and the negative charges are more spread out. We have rank four over here, because oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, and, be, and therefore it can actually handle a negative charge better.